good. What's poppin', man? Right? What's poppin', man? It's another you think you're uh, ATL? I wish I could talk like Kevin Hart sometimes. Oh, Kevin Hart talk like that. That's ATL. No. Kevin yeah. Hart does talk like that. Man? What's man? poppin', man? Man? No, that's T.I., man, man. T.I. be saying man a lot. Like, he don't say, he don't say, like, man or mine or bro. He says man, like, with a G at the end. Man. I, for, I forgot what I was going to ask you, dude. I was going to ask you something, bro. Do something for you. Y'all know a lot, but I'm going to throw these away already, man. Yo, why you got so much zippers, bro? What do you mean? Sweatpants. You can't be having zippers and sweatpants. Actually, I bought these, um, like, as a cheap alternative to see how these will be, and these are, like, the worst things I ever bought in my life. That, that's, like, um, like... These are like that the sun. They have like that Jansport zipper, right? Yeah. Like so like you the, can put it book bag on cheap. to match on with the backpack. No, that's right? true. That's what it is. Your sub is match. They match up with the Jansport. Yeah, Jansport. Yeah. No, Jansport yeah. has like the... Look smoky. Color. Look smoky. <laughs> that's what we have. That's what we have. That's what we have. We got no... Nah, I got toys away, bro. These things are... Look at this. Look at this thing. I just, but are they cheap? Uh, like are they actually cheap? cheap? They're like 16 bucks. Oh, okay. I bought these just to like... I want to know like... Like, yo, these like actually like... you pull them off? And it was not that, it's just like, first of all, they're too small. They're like mad tight already. And I don't know, man, these shits kind of suck. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably giving these away to somebody. Just get them on the. And look at this. Look at this shit. That's horrible. Yeah, well, are, are you wearing them worth the times? Are you no, watching them? Yesterday was the first time I wore them. For real? Last night, yeah. When I went to your house. Literally. And this shit already, like, look at all this shit coming up. Because uh, you beat them. Fucking ridiculous. What are you doing, though? You were, you were running in the dirt? I haven't worn them. I you were running in the dirt for fun. I saw you the other day. The other you were just running out there for fun. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? I see you out there. Jenny sent me a video of you just running out there. That's some dumb shit. Alright, man. What do you want to talk about today, buddy? I thought you had a topic. To I did. Buddy. I literally forgot what I was going to ask you. And it, was, and it had to do with, like, um, something I was thinking about yesterday. Oh, I do not. I do not. But let, let's do that for later. Let's do that for later. Talk, talk to me about you, bro. Talk to me about you, bro. What do you want me to tell you? I don't know, man. I'm tell 5'10". Tell me, um, tell me, you know. My aspirations and goals. Tell me about this nigga right here. What do you think about this nigga right here, man? I don't know, man. Huh? I don't know, man. Tell me about that, Jerome. <laughs> oh, man, no, man. She made me laugh, though. She made me laugh. She yeah. Said, funny people. It's funny people. That's... Uh, that's how I'm gonna keep it at. And that's really like your intro right there. Like, like, it shouldn't make you laugh or be like a no-go. Yo, honestly, any girl that um that is too serious it can't be with me. Can't be with me because... Um, if you know me, bro. I've been telling you, I can't even be at a funeral without cracking a joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I can't, because I, I, to me, life is like too short to be okay. serious, bro. You get me? Facts, so facts. I don't. And, and like, there's so much good things to. So you need to have somebody who's just down to just ride, to really enjoy it. So I, I get it. Like, girls are anal because every, <coughs> every girl's anal. Let me be honest with you. Every girl's anal. But every girl, and I, you know, I just you don't agree with me that you're a liar. That's who you are. Uh, you know, so every girl's ain't no, but there's some girls that are just like a like they just know how to laugh or how to make you laugh, <laughs> and, and that's the yeah, like, like, that, that, that has to be. It there's some yeah, like girls are sense of humor is very rare. Out because there. like you know like <clears throat> if you're pretty and you just you like to have a good time, you're not like you're not really ain't no, you're not really like super about just things have to be this yeah, way yeah, this yeah. way <laughs> um, <laughs> that sounds good hey if you're pretty and you're and you're not super anal that sounds crazy right now yeah because <laughs> no, it's no, so no. hard I, look most of the girls that you find that are like like very well put together girls are very, very anal or very stuck up oh, but yeah is that what you are but your put together girls are very different from everybody else's put together what's girl? your put together girl no because your put together girl is like yo she has to have her nails and yeah, toes yeah, done yeah, at all yeah, times yeah, yeah. She, um, I forgot you have another weird one what's the other weird one so it's I know your thing is nails, and I know there's a couple guys with that bullshit. There's nails and something else. Yeah, but you can't have ugly feet. Yeah, ugly feet, though, right? But can't. what does ugly feet mean? Like your nails done? Or no, like... or like your feet are too big. Like you, your your feet For is like, yeah. If you got big feet, I got I I, I look at girls' feet. They have to be small. I like girls with small feet. <laughs> well, why? That's weird. You don't think that's weird? Yeah, maybe, but it's, everybody has like their own little like weird things. Like, nah. name one weird thing that you for, maybe for me I'd be like I don't, I don't look at that, but it's weird. And you would say like you need that. It's a must. In a girl? Yeah. You don't have a must? Nah. Like, girls, yo, I, I've been against some girls like, they're pretty. But their shoe size look like my shoe size. Nah, and that don't ride with me. Because then I start looking at her and I start thinking she's a duck. For real? Because she got, like, <laughs> she got, like, the, the, what do you call the, um... Um, you, talk, you mean like, you just got big feet? So yeah. Yeah. Nah, man, I don't know. I don't care about shit like that. Really? Nah. I'm, I'm, first of all, like, I don't have a type, right? Like, like even though I said, like, yo, like, the whole curly hair or whatever, like, like, I don't have a type, though. It's, it's more like... If you're pretty, you're pretty. I'll give you a credit. Like, yeah, yeah, credit. Okay, I can, I can tell. I can tell a girl that like, oh, she's pretty. But now, like, if I'm trying to ride with you and then to meet with you, trying to get to you, like, the first thing I gotta do is, do you laugh at my jokes? 
Okay. Yeah, like, but which most girls are filling you with or laughing. Mo- no, no, but like, no, no, but like, yeah, of course. Because they'll laugh, but they don't actually mean it. Right? You know, I can't, you, know, you know what a girl can't stand? The girl that if I were, if I were on that tip, I'll probably punch you in the neck. If I were, uh, it's the girls that be like, ah, and roll their eyes. He's so annoying. Like, oh, oh I can't stand yeah, it. I'll tell you about one of those girls. Yo, I met one of those girls, bro. And I was like, <laughs> I was like what you want to do? You want to go outside? <laughs> you can score it right now. Because I can't handle it. Like, like, mm-hmm. You don't have to find me funny. Mm-hmm. But at least laugh at something, you know? But girls are just like, ugh. I'm like, yo, I can't. You're <laughs> ugh to me, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In fact, mm-hmm. all right, but hold on, all right. But, but back, to back to this, why though does... Okay, so wait. First off... N- Nails done at all times, right? Yeah. I mean, and I don't mean like you have to be painted, but I that I rather you have no nail paintings uh-huh. than chipped nails, you know. Oh, okay, okay. So I rather you just be like regular plain, but at least you know have them cut like foul. Okay. Yeah. No big feet. I don't. Uh, uh, and what else? That's it. I have small feet. I, I feel like I'm you like, have another one. I have. You have really have small. You have an eight though, right? You're eight, eight and a half. Eight and a half. That real. Well, I'm, I'm really small. Though. But I'm like five ten. Another proportional of that. That's pretty small feet for a. I, I have my like, look. Yes. JD to put it in perspective, JD is like <laughs> two, three inches, right? Uh-huh. And that guy has like a nine. You, you're like four feet five, and you, <laughs> you're like you a. You know what I mean, bro? <laughs> like you get, you give a guy two inches over you, and now they're freaking giants. Like they're giants. Yo, did we not measure that? I was literally five eight and a half. You're literally five ten and a half. <laughs> literally, look at you, look at you. I'm not fake shit. You still have that fake shit. I'm your father. You still have that fake shit. I'm your fucking father right there, Chris. You still have that fake shit. Where you gonna hurt? Where you gonna hurt? You still have that fake shit, man. You're fucking five eight, man. Fuck out of here. No, man. They're real. Um, no, no. My foot is not too small, but it's not too big either. And I've even told you like there's certain shoes that I won't wear. I told you this. I won't wear because I feel like they look too big on me. Cause I, I'm all about like yo. Well, yeah, that that that, that proportional. The, I, like, I'm, I like proportional, and yeah. so. I, like for me, usually I, I tend to lean to thin, slim frame girls because I have a slim frame, right? So yeah. I like the proportionality, even like when in comparison to the girl I'm with. Yeah. Right, but uh, so you so like let's so you wouldn't want it to be like a thicko, like one of those thicko Johns, like those. I feel like I, I, I feel like um she would be doing herself a disservice. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle that, but what do you think? Can't handle that. She would do so? it. A service. I'm, I'm a gentle young man. That's what I am. I'm very. You know, so you need a slim, a slim, a slim girl, a slim shot. So, so yeah, slim shot. You know, so it's a girl okay. that you know. You know what? I, I need. I need it. What the girls want. I need a girl that fits right under my chin. That's what girls want. They want to fit right under the boy's chin. I never heard that shit for real. All the time. For real. Every girl said that. I never heard that shit. Every, every girl. That's white people shit. shit. Every girl. Nah. <laughs> that's white people right. shit. All right. All right. White people shit, motherfucker. All right. Girls. Girls. Why girls. Why do I fit under your chin? Yeah. Perfectly. For real. Like like right next. Oh, let's just do. Okay. Any girl that can fit under my chin, even with a little space or whatever, yeah. every girl wants to be this height. Yeah. Whatever so you are, this here, height. Here, here. Because she wants to be able to put her head on your chest while you put her head, your head, your chin on her head. On her head. That's like the romantic thing. So you say thing. I have no hope in my life. No, no, like you, you can. Girl, you ever. can. You just gotta find like, uh, like, a, like, <laughs> like a, Santa's <laughs> workers. Got you, got you, got you. See, we have to deal with this shit, bro. <laughs> Fucking self esteem, guys. Right here, look. <laughs> Motherfucker. No, no, but on the real, girls do like that joke, right? Uh, and I and I like that proportion. That's not superficial to me. It is very superficial. As fuck. Yeah. Like as fuck. Yeah, but I never heard that before. Like, I, never, super... I, never, I honestly never heard that before. Yeah, yeah. What? Well, after this, we'll, we'll put out a poll on, on Instagram if you want. Right. And you gonna see girls want that jump for some reason because think about it. Mm. Even every romantic movie, every romantic movie, what happens? The guy's standing strong, firm, right, brush shoulders, well, I will give and you the that. girls on her chest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chest. I, I will give you that. Like every girl wants a tall guy. That's yeah, yeah. facts. I, but I, I, but I'm I, saying, I but they don't really want a tall guy. They just want a guy that's taller than them, proportionally speaking. Yeah, because mm-hmm. girls don't really care. Mm-hmm. Like, think about it. If you're four feet tall, yeah, yeah. girl, you don't want an uh, eight-footer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, you want, right, a, you right. want a guy that's, like, a little taller than you. That yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I get, but either way, somebody was tall. It has to be proportional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that. that's what it is. Okay, um, but, uh, yeah, man. But uh, as far as, like, the non, the non-shallow the part, yeah, a girl has to be able to laugh. Because it's like, yo, if you don't... Like, you don't have to have my jokes. Because my jokes are very, like... Driven by the people I hang out with, like yeah, yeah. you and Eddie, like you and Eddie and me, don't stop laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because For we sure. just quit one joke after the other, yeah, yeah. right? But you need to be able to just be a good time because I care a lot about the people I hang out with, like you and Eddie. Yeah. So if that girl is like constantly like, oh, I want to hang out with your friends. No, you don't have to, but you also won't hang out with me. Yeah, like that's a no go. You know, because for me, like, like for you, it, it, it's it like matters. Uh, like the family thing matters, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I need a girl that can be a good time. So like, you know, every this is the thing, girls. You don't have to. Be best buds with his best buds, mm-hmm. but they have to be able to tolerate you around. Yeah, because you know, like you need to. I least... tolerate you sometimes. 
But that's the thing. Like, I don't like you around. I just tolerate you. you know, that's, what, that's what I said, tolerate. I'll tell you. <laughs> that's, what I said, that's what I said, tolerate. You get me? It's not to be like, oh, you know, I ride with them. But whatever. like, I, oh, whatever. She's going to come. You know, it's not a big deal. Yeah. yeah. But there's other times like, you you meet girls like, yo, nah, man, don't worry about it. Don't chew with us. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're good. Stay yeah, good. Yeah, chew your girl. Chew your girl. Yeah. yeah. Because it's just that bad. Like, that trip. And yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't want that trip. You know? Okay. I, I, I get that. I get that. I mean, as far as the, like the whole personality yeah. or, you know, all that bullshit. I understand. <laughs> what's, the, what's the more meaningful part, George? <laughs> yeah, 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 the extra. Yeah, really? He's like the extra yeah, stuff. Okay, this is why, this is why. Yeah, it is. At the same time, like, okay, look, if, if your girl's being annoying and all she has is personality, you're probably going to walk away. Oh, yeah, for sure. Than for sure. Because you know she looks good. good. She looks good. You're like, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, you're like, I, you, put up, you put up with more stuff. You're like, I, you're like yo, I love George, but my girl look better, bro. My <laughs> <laughs> girl look good. You know what I'm saying? That's a bad comparison. That's a horrible comparison. That's basically what you made it sound like. You made it sound like, look, no. I, I love my boys, my boys, no. but that girl look good. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, look, if, you know, <laughs> inevitably, you're going to be annoyed at each other. Oh, yeah, inevitably. For sure, for sure, for sure. Inevitably. But I'm saying, like, if, if it's like, so, you know, sometimes you might get in a fight for like a week, two weeks, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. If she looks good, like, if both people look good, it's harder to walk away oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. than if, like, you, yeah. you are right, all you are is personality. Yeah, that's, that's why I don't, I'm, I'm telling you, I've never, I've never subscribed to the whole, oh, you know, he doesn't have to be good looking, he doesn't have to make me laugh. That's a lie. Yeah. I, I thought, that's why I said I need a girl that's attractive and has a sense of humor, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, like, I don't recognize, yo, because you can be, bro, some of the girls that I, I, I find the funniest. I'm not attractive to. So yeah. I'll chill with you, but I know that it's going to be just chilling. Like, ain't going to be nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because realistically, there has to be some attraction. So you're right in that sense that if the girl is attractive and she has a good... It's kind of hard to walk away. It's kind of hard. It is. Because at that point, you're going to be like, look, man. Yeah, she she, she annoying, but it's going to be hard to find something like this outside anyways. Exactly. You, yeah, and you just put up with it yeah. more because you look at her yeah. like... Damn, you kind of yeah, you kind of my baby. Shit, you know, exactly, exactly. It's like <laughs> shit, you know, like so. Is it, it, is this mixed bad? Yeah. I just think I don't know. You just be on some weird shit sometimes, though. Like I what? Mean, with, with the shit you say, like I don't know. Just I guess like some of y'all. I realize this too. Like honestly, like guys do care about nails and stuff. Yeah. Like I, I never paid attention to shit like that. And it's not like about like like I mean, if your nails are dirty, like I'm like yo, yo, you playing football, my G? Like what the fuck going on? You know, you like, you hit me up to play ball. Like what's going on? Right. That's different. But like if. If like I don't, know, I don't pay attention to like the color of your nails. Like I don't pay attention to details a I lot of times. You get me? I, I think when it comes to like what you wear, I pay attention to details. But then when it comes to like I don't know certain things, like oh I got this done with my hair, like I might not really realize. No, no, you know I, what I mean? Yeah, you like, know I, I know it's everything. I have people heard it, but it's, for that's me, so weird to me, man. Like I said, like like some things that are not necessarily like cosmetics of it. It's just like the principle of it, I guess. Like you don't have to have your nails painted. I will tell you this. Right, right. But they have to be at least, you know, filed. Your eyebrows, your eyebrows don't have to be like the on fleek, but they can't be bushy either. What's What's the first thing physically, like when you look at a girl that is like, boop, like on your radar? On a no-go or on like just to cause my attention? No, that cause your attention. Um, her eyes. And you told me, that. how, bro? Bro, I, I Wait, the, what do you mean by eyes? Like color? Those are like, the things, like size and color. Um, right? Eyes. Like, so you can have regular brown eyes, but if they're big, I find those attractive. Okay, like cute. You know, like, it's yeah, like a cute thing. It's like a cute thing. It's like a cute factor yeah, yeah. for me, right? And then, um, if you have like green eyes or blue eyes or something along those lines, you know, those are, those are like, bam, like they call your attention. They right, stick right, out. Right. But I'm saying, but they don't have to be some color. It's just, it's just the size as well is like a cute thing. So that's, that's really what calls your attention? Like, like one of the first things that calls my attention is that. So it's not nothing like dirty, nothing like, you know. No. I mean, body uh, wise. Juvenile. Juvenile. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. Like, that's what yeah. you're looking at, like. Right, right. <laughs> like you, you like, like you know, you're like she dirty. You're yeah, dirty. you're looking at that. No, like, but like, basically, like, I usually look at a girl's face first. I usually but look at a girl's face. I, I think most guys are gonna look at a girl's face first like, for, for the most part. Like, I, I think the. I mean, I think that's in everything yeah, too. Like, that's the what's yeah. the car you're turning for yeah, the most. But I'm part. saying, but the first part, the first thing that really causes me is my eye, like the eyes. If I see the eyes, I'm like, wow. Look. And then for then, like obviously your body, but your eyes. Why do you fucking sound like a fucking like like? Oh, uh, chick flick motherfucker, yo! Like I, I, I saw your eyes. Like that shit sounds fake, bro. Well, nah, bro. Are you said the I eyes mean, real? Yo, like most oh, of the girls that I'm like, I'm like, wow. It all started with like with the. What eyes. do you look? What do you look at the guy? Is his face too? <laughs> God damn! <laughs> Oh, man, that was oh, funny. That's bad. Oh, <laughs> that's 
good though. You say that's real. I feel that's like that's good. a lie. How would you know? Nah, yo, but girls do do that though. Girls do that. Girls look at your print, like you know, they try to. <laughs> nah, for real? Yes or no? Really? Yeah, Especially man. Especially if you wear sweatpants. Yeah, man. Girls do that, bro. I was talking to some girl and I used to work at the island. She used to tell me that, yo, like we, she's like, oh, we see when you guys like, wear, like whatever pants you wear, we try to see like. What what's going on? I promise you, bro. Like when you sit down, you can see. Extra. I'm like, what for real? She's like, yeah. She's like, oh, okay. No, but I like a smile. That's you look at. I mean, smile. that's what attracts you. Like, is that so gay? But so I you like know nothing. Like, like a girl. Something that you like, like the first thing you look at. Now, I, honestly, I, if it was a uh, like these factors, it's gonna be like that super curly hair. If if I see you from behind, you know, one or two things are gonna get me. Either your butt or the curls. You yeah. get me? That's gonna make like if you have curls, I automatically want to see what you look like. Yeah. Automatically, like, well, no matter what. Always, always. Like I, I, just, I just like I, I'll be like peeping till you turn around. Like for me, uh, long hair, long hair, long hair. Yeah, obviously, if it's like um, like long straight hair. Yeah. Yeah, man, I, I want to see what you look in the front. Yeah, like, yeah. like I want to see your face. I want to see the, you know, obviously the rest of your aesthetics. Yeah, yeah. But uh, if you have long hair, and that's kind of common, right? Yeah, like, yeah long hair is not really common. That's long. Most like, guys prefer long hair. You've been into blonde hair, lady. Yeah, I've been into blonde hair. Yeah, I told you too. Yeah, you told me. Like, like yo, no, girls are like like darker complexion, but with blonde hair for some reason, they find the type yeah, yeah, yeah. lady. I mean, because I think it's the contrast. Man. That's. I mean, I, I guess that that's the thing for me. Like, uh, I guess like like it'll just be really just a curl. Like I don't even care. Like it's just once you have the curl, I don't know. You kind of have my attention, but it's not like the. Like the, cause mm-hmm. you can have the curls and I might not be feeling yeah, you. Like if you try to be like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, I'm like I'm really not be, might, might not be feeling you. But I mean, that's it. Like every from there on, I'm just like you know, a, a piece of shit. In other words. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna say it like that, bro? You gonna say it like that? Everything else, I'm just really like, like superficial yo, about yeah, yeah. it. I'm just superficial about it, just cause. Nah, I don't obviously, know. in the in the scene, the girl, I think everything's superficial. Now yeah. when you're chilling with a girl, that's what I tell you. Like I need to see her laugh. Like if you don't laugh, like uh, at your jokes and stuff. Yeah, well, man. So you consider yourself a funny person or a funny guy. Nah, I consider myself a moron. But you consider yourself a funny guy then. That's a some aspect. No, no, I think I'm a moron. I think I do a lot of stupid things. So people are bound to laugh. So you think you're funny? No, I don't think I'm funny. Yeah, that, that's exactly what that means. Stupidity is not as no, funny. Well, no, it is. It's a form of funny, of course. Nah, but I wouldn't say I'm a funny person. Okay, like, I, I, I would example. say, like, if I were to describe myself, I'd say I'm charming, not funny. So, but why laugh at your jokes then? If you're making jokes, because you're being but I'm, funny. Not, I'm not making jokes in the sense like like I'll crack a joke like knock dog, you know. Well, like, obviously, like, do stupid but... things. I just do stupid things. Cause you know, you see me, I get bored and I start doing stupid things all the time. And if I have yeah. a girl that's super serious around me, it's like, yeah, it, it won't it won't be a good offset. Yeah, good. I mean, cause like, for me, like, I'm not funny. Like I, I'm not funny at all. So I'm not like expecting for nobody to laugh. Like, I, yeah. I think I'm more serious. I'm more like yeah, you are a little more serious, especially when you're around people you don't really know. Oh, no, especially you don't throw gang signs. All you the time. Do this. All the time. <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> Talk to me, you know I got it. <laughs> yeah, so you be, you be <laughs> on that like. I just chill at it all the time. I'll be like, oh, you know, like, so like, we, if I were to introduce you to some girl, I'd be like, oh, that's my friend George. He's on soft. I He's on soft. Pedro, you're like, what's up? Just go. Why did I just think of, um, of, this is you, or some reason. Like, you know, like, you know that's my friend George. George, but you know what I got? That's my friend George. Orale, ese. He <laughs> doesn't hear him. I'm a Chico. I'm trying to do a Chico. I know, but it's like, I know for it's some reason you just throw the games like. Now, honestly, honestly, that messes me. You know that that's that's funny. So lately, like I re- I realized that too. Like I really am so sitting around people, and I've, I've always been like that. Like, every time I meet somebody new, I'm mad quiet. Right, like, always. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, actually, no. I don't think it depends at all. I think always, I'm always sitting around new people. Always. Just because it's like I don't I don't fucking know you, so it's like I think that I feel like it's like the thing from that I've, that I've always had since I was a kid. Like you know when you're a kid and you're going to middle school and stuff like that, like did you talk to everybody? Like, I was never friendly. I talked to nobody. Right, like I was never friendly. Like you know, like in class and stuff like that, I was never friendly. Like, I just go sit in class if I knew you, like you know, cause we're mm-hmm. boys or whatever. Like yo, what's good? You know, I'll sit with you, but I wasn't really like venturing around talking to a bunch of people. I was only talking to the people that I knew always. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's always like that now. Like like you got somebody just with somebody who's like. Like, hey, how are you? What are you doing, George? Whatever. It's like, like I'm not really talking because yeah. it's like I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know you. So it's yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. It's weird. I, and I don't do small, I don't do small talk either. So for me, it's kind of hard to just be like pretend like well, I can't. I hate small talk. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so usually the only people I'm really, really like talkative around is people that I, that I'm close to, right? Aside from that, I'll just be like, hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Blah, blah. And I, when I'm having a good time, I want everybody around me to have a good time. I think you know that. Yeah. So even someone I don't know, but you happen to be there, I want you to have a good time. But that's different right. than having engaging conversation. Yeah. I don't really engage conversation. Like, in school, I would always uh, get in trouble for talking or like, be a class clown. But it's because I knew the people I was with. So I'll be messing around. I'll make teacher laugh. I'll make people laugh. Um, 
But it wasn't like, hey, you know, we actually had like real conversation. No, it was just me being dumb. Right. It's just you like. I mean, is that? I guess it all, all depends on how you mix. Like, cause like, I mean, as far as being a talker, I'm not. I mean, obviously, I talk shit or whatever, right? Like, <laughs> hell you, you guys hell fucking hell know, me. like, hell I hell talk me. shit. But like, I'm. I still don't consider myself a talker. At the end of the day, get I me mean? like. And when it comes to like, I guess certain topics, I like, I feel that type of way about it. I'll talk, but for the most part, I just don't. I don't really. I, I never quite understand how people mingle so well. You mm. get me like, like your brother, like your fucking Eddie Yo. talks to everybody. First of all, but like, but the end of a conversation, Eddie already knows your social security number. Yeah, and I'm like, fuck. Like, how does this guy talk to everybody? Yeah, that guy like, doesn't shut up though. Yeah, like, he talks to everybody. The problem with Eddie sometimes, like Eddie, like that's a blessing, but it's also a mad annoying when we're trying to leave. Oh yeah. Because by that time, yeah. that time we, we came us three, but that time we leave. He has nine friends that want to go with us. No, yeah. man, I'm trying to go home. Like, give me a look. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he, he makes, like, friends everywhere he goes. Like, he, he, he's more on the friendlier, yeah, like, yeah, tip or whatever. Super Which, I mean, I guess... Which is funny is, because he always says he's not. Yeah, he's like, I'm not friendly, bro. <laughs> You're the most friendly bro, person I know. Come on, bro. Like, everywhere we go, you make a friend yeah. somehow. Yeah. You get me? I mean, and it's not necessarily because he engages in the conversation, but sometimes he does yeah, engage. Yeah. Like, he'll, he'll be the one who say. So, it depends, uh, I mean, all that shit is really, like, even in dating, like, when you talk, like, when you talk about dating, it's like, you know, the whole, the whole, like, okay, now I have to, like, date somebody, right? Like, let's say, you know, you never met this person, you guys go out to dinner, whatever freaking cliche shit you guys decide to do, it's the same thing, it's like, you have to do the small talk shit, the shit that you don't really care no. about, let's be honest, like, most people don't care about it, but then, then again, it's hard to say that because it's like, okay, like, imagine you're somebody that's trying to, like, be in a serious relationship, you care about, like, I don't know if this guy's serious. What, what does he do what's for a living? Yeah. Like, you know, shit like that. Yeah, like, I, guess, I, I don't know, man. I think dating is so hard. Because, yo, if you're... It's a, fake. It, yeah, like, think about it. If you ask me any question and I'm feeling you, whether I'm feeling you for today or for a lifetime, it doesn't I matter. I'm going to give you that... No, no. I'm going to give you the answer I think you want to hear. Oh, okay. And, well, I, and, I, I, would you? and I don't think... I don't think... No, I'm telling you, listen to me clearly. We're going to be like, oh, so you're just trying to play that game. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, no. No, I, I think... It's sounded like I, I think, I think lie, subconsciously... Bro. As uh, you you, know, wait, first of all, don't forget, don't fuck it up right now. You're a poster, you're a poster child for I'm down. But I'm gonna be honest don't with you. Don't fuck it up. I think, no, I'm not saying me specifically, I think in general. I think mm-hmm. people are gonna give the answer they feel the other person wants to hear if they're feeling the other person. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, I'm not, to, think about it, if you don't care about the other girl and you're really, really just about, like, yo, I just want a night, a tonight thing. Yeah. You're gonna say, like, look, this is what I'm trying to make happen, blah, blah, blah. But most people are not that straight up. Yeah. Most people are gonna be like, Oh, you know, we'll just see what the night takes us. You know, oh, yeah, I love romantic, blah, 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 and this and this. If that's what they think the girl you, wants you to You gotta hear. go with that. That's true, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you, know, you, go, go, you go with the flow. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, I've seen a few people and I look up to them, but I'm not that guy who will say, yo, this is what I'm trying to do. Yes? No? All right, cool. Yeah, yeah exactly. just moving. But most people, we're just gonna go with the flow. Yeah, to most see people how go Even flow. girls. Girls will sometimes compromise their own convictions to see where this takes them. Right, right. It, especially if they're fully. Yeah, because cause, like, they'll be like, no, you know, I'm not the type of girl who will sleep on the first night or whatever. But they might, if they're feeling you, right? They'll they'll go against their own convictions, against yeah. their own you know beliefs, like the rule or whatever. Whatever they got going on, because just the right setting. So that's why I think dating yeah. dating like just randomly is hard. Yeah. I think it's like you know if you if you've been in a group of friends, yo, I think this person you would click. Maybe because your friends know each other, so they might know. Okay, this person is like this, and that person like that. Maybe they work together. But I think that might be more e- like plausible or easier than just dating. Like right, because randomly. you have some type of rapport yeah, already. Exactly. Like you kind of have, yeah. I mean, because it's true. Like even if you try to pull somebody from, like, let's say, I just like it's, it is harder because it's like, damn, like that person really like has to be feeling you like for a minute. Like, like they see on IG, like, damn, like this guy's kind of cute, mm-hmm. whatever. And then you finally hit her up. It's like that. Oh, okay, like that spark yeah, yeah, type yeah. shit. You get me? You know, like, look, IG is simple. Like everybody just likes each other's pics or whatever. And it's not that, because you like a picture doesn't mean you're hitting on somebody, but like. You know, when you make a pattern of things, like, yo, if, if you, if I post something, right, and then you go and you like all, like, a bunch of pictures of mine, like, I feel like you kind of... You, you hitting me up, like, Yeah, like, you kind of, like, yeah. you, you telling me, yo, slide in the DMs, yeah. you get me? But even like that, like, you said, it's, it's, like, if I've never talked, I've never seen you, it is a little bit, like, you know, like, kind of, it could be yeah. awkward, it could be weird, because, Because, like, I mean, and the thing it, is, like, it's also, it's always going to be a gamble. Because you is, don't really is. know what the other person is expecting of this. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, at least for me, like, before before anything, I mean, I don't date or nothing. I think I've only been on, like, one date. Like, one date, date. Like, I can say, like, yeah, like, I've been on a date. Like, I think I've only been, like, on one date. I might be wrong, but whatever. But I feel like I've only been on one date. And even, like, then, like, for the most part, like, I'm trying to figure out what's up before anything anyways. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm like, the f- one of the few first things I'm trying to do is, like, yo, like, what are you, like... What are you expecting Like, are you, this? like, serious yeah. relationship? Or are you, like, just trying to, yeah. like, you know, whatever, do your thing? 
and then I kind of proceed off of that. Yeah, I mean, at least for me, like I have to know because I don't really want to yeah. be on some like wasting time. Yeah, see, I, do I don't think I could do the whole just like <laughs> randomly date somebody. You know, like I need to hear from you, like in a social setting. Like, how are you responding in a social setting? Right, right, right. Like, how are you about communicating? How are you about having a good time? Is how it, are you about rapport of with other people? And so then, you're more like a, a personal, like yo, yeah. I need to have I have no new type stuff yeah, or something it's, like that. It's like. hard for me to like to really be interested yeah. in somebody in in something more than just like a friendship. Yeah. From a distance, like I, I don't think I can make that work. Nah, I, 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 I think I get that too, cause it's true. It's more like I think for the most part, the thing that works out is always like the friendship, mm-hmm. right? The friendship, yeah. and then you kind of like you know dabble because it's true. Like man, for the most part, I've realized like either way, people are fake as fuck at, at the beginning of everything. everything. You know what I mean, even like, in friends, <laughs> yeah, like you, you're like you, even in friends, you're like, hey, yeah, man, don't worry about it, don't worry about that. Like you know, oh, it's so, cool, it's cool. Like, you know, you're yeah. friend, like, yo, you think this looks good? Yeah, man, it looks fresh. Yeah, like, you good, you good. <laughs> Hell no, I yeah, <laughs> exactly. But then you know, as you get more comfortable, yeah, yeah, then you yeah. kind of like, nah, bro, that's that's not the goal. That's not it, bro. That's yeah, 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 you you find like even in friendship, you find very few friends that will be like, yo, uh, you about to sleep, bro? Act, act right, act right. Yeah. Like even in their friendships, you find very yeah, few people who do exactly. that. So so. Yeah, especially in dating is really hard. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. I, I think like dating is a lot about like subconsciously I'm trying to get you to the place that I want to get to. But I don't know, man. Let, let me ask you. So you you have you know your whole um having kids, getting married, aspiration, all of that. You know, um like that's that's what everybody wants yeah, yeah. for the most part, right? For the most part, everybody wants. So how do you like get to like at least in your mind maneuver to to that like it, like something that you want? Because at least for me, at least for me, like I feel like. I mean, and looking back now, thinking about it more now, not for even back then, I'm more about like not wanting to be like in a tied down, like no, not tied down. But I look at it like not wanting to follow like the rules type shit. Yeah, I mean, it's like not it's like because like, everybody like, wants that. I don't shit. want that. Yeah, it's like yeah. to start questioning stuff. So like you know, okay, like for example, most people be like, yo, the purpose of you know being a human or whatever is to, you know procreate. Yeah, right? like, like if, you know, if you're very like <laughs> yeah, yeah, literal. Right. Literal, right? It's like, you know... A vast race. Yeah, exactly. Like, just continue to, you know, have kids, whatever. That's how you, you know, could, whatever. And then other people, like, you know, in, in this life, you, you know, you, you're you lonely or whatever. You just need to find somebody to kind of do life with, whatever. But then, you know, I kind of like, as, as you go on, everybody just talks about like, oh, you know, one day I'm going to get married one day. And I don't know, for me, I guess to one point, it's just like, yo, like, why? Like, why is yeah. that everybody's goal? So why is that, at least for you, like, why is that, like, how you see things? I think, uh, you know, it's not a surprise to me. Anybody who knows me, especially you, I think. I'm very extremist. Mm-hmm. Right? I find, yeah. So, uh, I find myself swaying from the, yo, honestly, I don't think I ever want to commit to a girl. Mm-hmm. To that, like, yo, I, I only want to know when, and been with a girl for the whole, my whole life, right? Yeah. Like, I've been in both of those extremes. And, um, and I think both those extremes have left me, like, disillusioned, mm-hmm. right? Like, you know, getting any girl I want doesn't do good for me. Being just with that one girl for the rest of my life sometimes feels like it's, like, not going to be for me. So I, I'm, like, more in the medium where it's, like, I want to be with one girl, but I don't want to feel like I didn't live. Because you know, a lot of people make marriage, like, sound good, but then in their living, make it seem like it's a chain. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. oh, you know, I tied my... You think what we yeah. all say? We even say the, yeah, the words yeah. we use. Oh, I'm tied down. Yeah. First of all, Mary shouldn't tie me down. Mary should set me free to be who I always wanted to be. Right, right. Because I found somebody who sees the best in me. That's right. the idea of marriage. So for me, it was... Uh, and, and now, like, the way I see marriage is... Is um, it's pushing towards goals with somebody I want to share them with. That I realized that, you know, the top is, is the lonely. Mm-hmm. And I want to get to the top with somebody I can, like, sit at the top of the building and say, look what we built together. Mm-hmm. That is my goal. Whether that's a family or whether that's a business or whether... Because I always say, like, once I'm married, and I told you this, once I'm married, I, there's no me. It's we. My right. bank account is a shared account. Right. My phone is a shared phone. My, because at that point, I, I, I said, hey, I want us to do everything together. Mm-hmm. You get me? But until that point, I also don't have a rush for it. So I, I want my wife or my whoever will be my wife in the future whatever... To always ha- to have completed her goals. I want her to have her own ambitions, her own desires, her own dreams. Because mm-hmm. I don't want her life to be tied down by me. Yeah, yeah. You get me? I want, my, I want <clears throat> her to be like, Chris, I, I, I believe in this and I want this. And I want to be able to say, hey, I believe in you. So I want that for you. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's the kind of marriage I see, you know. And I think a marriage that communicates, that matures together, that grows together. That is the beauty I find in marriage. Yeah. You get me? That's what attracts mm-hmm. me about marriage. It's seeing, you know, like I love sharing, sharing moments with my friends. But there's a person that is even more intimate to you when you find someone that special that you want to share everything with. 
Even at the moments you're annoyed at. <laughs> so like, so for me, at least for me, I've always said this. I feel like in uh in any relationship, it's like um, it's like that that person, whatever, is supposed to be your friend. The only difference is you having sex, yeah. right? You remember yeah, saying you that all the time, all right? Time. And I still feel like that to this day, just because like you know nothing should to change, right? Like I mean, I feel like you know, um, the the there, there's situations at least at least I've seen like right where like you know guys would be like you know okay I'm like with the guys like, ah no. whatever I'm with my girl I'm like nah like, I'm you know, I'm more yeah. toned down and like, you know, you're not like yourself I guess so that's why it's like not nah, like I I feel like it should be like a friend you just smashing that that I see yeah. so you're saying that's not necessarily how it is no um that's how we all wish it was. But realistically, it's not because, you know, and I don't know if it's girls or guys or social society just in general, mm -hmm. but the moment you put a title on a girl, she completely changes her expectations of you, right? And, and what is frustration? Wait, wait, why? What society, right? What is frustration, right? Frustration, what is, what is frustration? Frustration is unmet expectation. Okay, yeah. So why do you both end up frustrated? Because you both expected something differently and it wasn't met. So guys were like, oh man, I'm really feeling this girl, so I think I'm gonna make it official, mm -hmm. right? Because you were enjoying the the, com the you know the communication, the hanging out, and maybe that intercourse if that happened, right? Yeah. You know, so it's like I want to make it exclusive. I want to make it between <coughs> her and me. But you expect to be the same way that it was before, mm -hmm. right? Because that's your expectation. The problem is when you say, oh, we're exclusive. The girl's saying, all right, I have certain rights to certain things and certain demands. Why? Because that's how I guess girls are. You know, that's not. I can't answer a quote for girls, that, but I've seen it, right? Wait, so then I realize why? Like, why do you think that? Real quick, like just, just butt in. Why do you think the expectations change from a girl's perspective? Because I think it's because girls push straight towards like, all right, now we're going straight to the steeple. Like that's our way so, now. So now same. we're pushing to the steeple to the marriage. Uh, I think know? I don't know. I feel like it's like you have to be. Specific towards what expectations are we talking about? Okay, like for because I kind of I kind of know what you're getting at like and, and it happens like you know so you could be talking with somebody it's fun you know whatever and then it's it's official now so now that you know like it's official like you said it's almost like like oh I have a right to this yeah. now I have like, rights. I give you a perfect example right one that probably happens all the time is like when you guys were just talking it's like hey so what are you gonna do tonight oh, I'm gonna chill with the boys oh, okay have fun right uh -huh. now if you guys are dating but you chill with the boys last week. Right, but every week, every you knew I was chilling with the boys every Saturday, anyways. Yeah, yeah but you didn't have a girlfriend back then, and it's like, wait, but what shift? And the guy's in mind is like, what shifted? Yeah, like what changed? Uh, but in the girl's mind is like, hold up, no, now we want my quality time. That right. is true. So it's There's like taking, expectations like, because once you have a title, it's kind of like treat me as that title. Yeah, which they they put a certain idea towards the title. Yeah, like, I think there in my is, opinion. It is. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. There is an idea behind yeah. the title because behind the title, it's like. Okay, I'm no longer just a friend. It, it, you kind of bump up, get me? So you should be more of a priority now because your title change. You're you, that's how it is in a girl. Nah, life. I get you. I get yeah. you. That, that's that, that's for me. I'm a struggle with that forever. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, no, like I don't know. For me, it's no, like, no. And, and trust me, as a guy, mm -hmm. I think we all like every guy is like, yo, what? It shouldn't change. At least most guys will say it shouldn't change. But <laughs> then, as a guy, like you were saying before. You know, I guess she can have my baby, so I like to compromise. <laughs> but I you know, like we end up because yeah, most guys end up compromising. Like, and, which is what relationship is all about, right? Yeah. And so, like, like as, compromising, as, aka doing stuff you don't want to do. Yeah. So I, I think as a guy, like you learn, the, especially I've, I realize with people who have been dating or married longer, you learn w which hills you want to die on, like which battles are actually worth fighting. Mm. You get me? Like, there's certain things that guys are gonna be like, eh, yeah, well, whatever you want. Yeah, whatever you yeah, want. Right, right, but right, then right. there's certain things that they're like, no, this is what I want, so this so is. This this is, is uh, you know. But, like, most guys concede, concede, concede until they get to something that they're not willing to concede. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, man. Like, if, if I feel like just in general, like, if you look in general, like, married, like, when you're married or whatever, it's like this. I feel like it's like this human thing of not knowing what you want in the day or not being satisfied because there's moments where it's like, not like, you know, I love my wife, I love my kids, whatever, 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 whatever. And then there's times where it's like, damn, bro. Like, you know, like for example, like, it could be a group of guys, right? You're all married and there's that one single guy in the group and then they're kind of like, yo, you know, the same guy's talking about how, yo, I done did this with this person. Yeah. That was that they're like, damn, bro. You, you know, you lucky, you're whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then there's moments, like, in the movies, right? And you, yeah. You'll see, like, the guy kind of like, like, 
start going through bumpy roads, yeah. the same guy, and then, you know, it's like, nah, man, you know, it's like, I like what you have, you know, you, you get to go home to one girl. Yeah, you know, and, it's like, like, and it's like, oh, you know, oh, you, like your wife will call you, hey, you know, Tommy needs to do this, okay, I'll be there. And so now you want to have somebody to go home to, home to, type to shit. take care for, to protect, blah, blah, blah. Right. So, you know, my thing is that, these all emotions, or you no, feel like, it's just like little, like, eh. I think it's all like, um, those are all symptoms or explanations or whatever that, you can't be satisfied in things. Mm -hmm. You gotta find the reasoning of why you chose to do something. Like, why you chose to not get married. Yeah. You know, because if the, if the reason is like, oh, you know, I never wanted to be tied down, then you misunderstood marriage. Right. Why you chose to be married. If the reason is I never want to be lonely, then you picked the wrong reason to marry. Right. Because guess what? There's people who are married and they feel just as, as alone as before they were married. Yeah. Right, right. Because sometimes loneliness is is not a, a place. Sometimes loneliness is a mindset. Mm, okay. Right. And yeah. so there's people who even within a marriage feel lonely. So people with that yeah. are not married still don't feel like they have freedom. Right, right. right. So you know, like I think we mm. have to really understand what I'm getting into and why I'm getting into it. Yeah. Because, bro, you could be the m most single playboy and still be miserable, or you could be the most married man and still be miserable. Right, right. Right. It's not gonna miss. <laughs> Misery loves company. It's you know? extreme. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I think it's always about like a, a self awareness and self examination. Like, why did I do this? Yeah, I mean, I, I, with, with everything, right? Yeah. It's like, it's like yeah. really analyzing why I did yeah. why it's, I it's like this. When we talk, well, you and I talk about like, oh, someone who's a millionaire is, is miserable, or someone who's broken is miserable. Right, right. Like, it's not necessarily yeah. the things that are, it's you personally, what you do with those things. So you think it's more like a, of a mindset thing? Yeah, because why, thing. why do men cheat? Because they were unsatisfied in a marriage. Most of the time, ego. Most ego. of the time, yeah, right. Ego, yeah. So whether it's ego or or you're satisfied in marriage, yeah. but did the woman change? I don't think so. I think it's you changed the way you saw that woman most of the time. Mm, got you, got you. Yeah, so you you just change your perspective. Towards exactly. Things. And so when you change your perspective towards a good place, then it can you can bring hope to a place that had darkness. Yeah. But when you reverse it and you change your perspective towards something dark. Yeah. Then you can bring even the worst things towards a place that wasn't that bad. So I mean, do you, you think that everybody in this world is let's say not not meant to get married, but you think there's a person for for everyone in this world? No. Like you don't think God made it like that? Um, I don't think so because Jesus is very clear. He says some people. Uh, he says one of the best things you can do is not be married because mm -hmm. you would have time for God more than for anything else. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Like, if you're if you if you say you want to be a missionary. It's hard, it's hard to be a missionary when you have a family. Right. You want to take your family to Iraq where they might be had your whole family. You yeah, want to take your family yeah. to Africa where they might get sick. You know? Right. But if you were just a man, you can say, hey, I got to go today because God called me. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So I don't think that everybody has the one. I just think we can't keep it in our pants. So we might as well just find a one. Gotcha. So it's, it's, man, that's kind of a settle down type of thing. Though, in, a way. in a way, but that's how the Bible puts it, to be honest. Right. The Bible says the best thing is if you could have so much control... They say, God, I want my life, whole life to be dedicated to you. That's the best thing you could do. But because, and this is how Paul puts it, for example. Yeah. He says, because you can't keep it in your pants, find a woman that you can love and honor. And that way you're honoring God because you're honoring her. And so, that, that's the point okay. about, about faith. Faith, yeah, yeah. faith takes it at a whole another level. Faith doesn't say marriage is about you and her. Yeah, faith yeah. Is, marriage, is marriage is about honoring God first yeah. and then honoring her. Right, so, and so, so you honor God by honoring her. So that's the premise, the foundation of being of marriage. Yeah, right? because at the end, you know, when God makes Adam and Eve, He says, you know, I made man and woman. Yeah. Right. Be fruitful and multiply. Well, because the thing is, like, you know, like, I, and I've seen a lot, like, a lot of times people, like, you know, nowadays they get married because it's almost like the a society norm. Well, no, it, it's almost like yo, know, like, there's nothing else that there's no bigger gesture mm -hmm. that I can do, right? It's like yo, you know, like, I, I had a girl, you know, I, I don't, you know, we've been together forever, we had kids already. Um, you know, we don't got a house, you got a family, it's like, like, the next thing to, the next logical thing to do, I guess, like, the next big move is just to get married, or something like that, you get me, that's how, you know, people, yeah, it's the next step, yeah. Yeah, it's like, the next step, well, which, I mean, in that point, I understand why they would consider it as a next step, because there is, like, the, the tax breaks, there is, uh, you know, the benefits, and all right, that stuff, right. also, if something were to happen to you, you know, you have somebody that can benefit off, at least your, your death, or whatever, yeah, you, know? Yeah. you know, so, I, I understand the benefits, but that's if you look at it from, a, a like, you know, okay, what else do we have left? You right. know, but I don't, I'm telling you, I don't, I don't think marriage should just be kind of like, a, eh, might as well. Like uh, I, I don't, I don't ever want to see it as that because if I see it like that, then I'm gonna see getting away from it the same way. The same thing. Yeah. yeah. If, if I see uh, going into marriage like, a, eh, then I must see cheating with my girl like, a, eh. 
Well, I mean, like, is that you see, like, like at least for me, I was this, this is what I was doing. Something. Like, yo, you said earlier, like, a society, society. Is is the thing, like, yo, if everybody was raised in a like with this mentality, right? Of like, not oh damn, whoa, how to move this? Oh, you moved there. I was yeah, like, I moved there. <laughs> yo, production manager, <laughs> go check our, go check our thing, bro. Is it still recording? Because it stopped recording on us like a oh, few times already. No, 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 it's recording. You see the timer, like the number? Yes! Oh, goddamn, my G. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Shit. Alright, bro. And three. <laughs> so, you know, do you see, um, damn, fuck, now I forgot where I was going, bro. Society. Right, society, right? So, like, this whole thing about society that's like. No, wait, no, time out. It's not just society. What else was I saying? I literally just lost my train of thought. You're still thinking about society. That's what you were up there. Because you're saying about something about... Damn, fuck, I just I lost my train of thought. I don't, I don't want it to be just be like, eh, it's what the next step for me to get married. Because I also... Do, then, if I diminish it to that, then I also have yeah. no problem leaving it. Right, right. No, and it came back to me now. All right, so like, yeah, and society is, is like this bad thing to cheat or whatever. But then... If everybody was raised with the whole, like, oh, nah, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, like, you could have a wife, but mess around at the same time, all that. Then, do you think we'll be brought up in a, in a different thing? Or would, or would it be this, or you feel like jealousy and just, oh, I want this to be mine. is like a natural part of just humanity. Well, I, I think, you know, even, you know, normally I'll bring it back to the Bible. But even to just look at it from a philosophical, like, philosophical standpoint, you know, uh, John Locke and, and some of those like early philosophers who talked about uh, you know possession and, and social contracts right mm -hmm. so the reason we go into a social so contract. it all started with the first man who said this is my property yeah and then everybody was like finally this is mine yeah finally this is mine and now we're fighting each other for a property that before that no one ever thought about ownership yeah think about it we all just shared the land yeah, but yeah. there was a point that he said no this is mine stay away me. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know and so when that happens we have to come to a social understanding we're like alright fine I won't touch your stuff you don't touch mine yeah Right? And so the same thing, I, I believe, is what happens with marriage. It's like, yo, this is my woman. I made it legal. This is your... Back in the days, you know? Yeah, this is yeah. your woman. I won't, really, I won't mess with your woman. You won't mess with mine. Yeah. Like, in a social yeah, standing. I'm not talking about faith, because, you know, I could bring faith into it, but... Yeah, course, just in a social standing, I think it's like that reservation of, okay, I won't mess with your stuff. You don't mess with your stuff. Because back in the days, women were seeing as property, too. Yeah. Right? So it's like, I won't mess with your property if you don't mess with mine. Mess with mine. Yeah. Right? But nowadays, I think... um. You know, we we're looking at a marriage in, in such a small light, like a that's what I'm saying. Like I don't like the word tied down, because we look at marriage at one as point a, as a punishment. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's, it's like, like fuck. Like, I'm, it's like, like it's no more cause fun. Because like, no think about it. Like, when we see the like, movies now and, and uh, affairs or whatever, yeah. you see it. It's like no man. It's like I, I need an escape. Yeah. First of all, when did this become your punishment, bro? Nobody put a gun to your head to marry to marry them. Yeah. You get me? So I think if we're not careful, we start disrespecting uh, structures. That we built for a good cause. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, and, and even now, like, it's not looked at as, like, you know, like, marriage nowadays is not taken as serious as, as I guess, it was the, the, the meaning, right? Like, if, if it gets you look at, like, the whole beginning of, of a marriage meant, and now it's yeah. like... Yeah, because before it was like, marriage was about a name, about a, yeah. uh, about a legacy, about marriage was about, about different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it was about a kingdom if you were kings and princes, exactly, you exactly. know, so it was about a lot of things. Nowadays, it's kind of like, ah, oh, it's just a piece of paper. You, th you think of social media? I think social media plays a part, but I just think our, our society is just pushing to too much freedom. Yeah. And freedom without borders or within a border is not... Chaotic? It's chaotic. That's the perfect word. Mm -hmm. If I don't have regulation in my freedom, then when is my freedom too much freedom? Right? Because the understanding of freedom is I can do as much until I infringe on somebody else's. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Right, that's, that's the understanding of freedom. Yeah. But if we're not careful, then we we don't we no longer care about anybody else. We just care about my freedom, my liberty, the way you make me feel. Yeah, yeah. which I think is, is it leads us to just being too selfish. Because mm -hmm. the whole point about this society is that I'm willing to sacrifice a little of my desires for the better of, of all of us. Yeah, well, damn, like, which is it's heavy. It's yeah, heavy. but if if you're not careful, you know, uh, social media plays a part. You know, just your own mindset, free thinking, and too much follow your heart kind of ideals. Um, leads us to saying, I don't care about you, I care about me. About me, yep. And sure. then at one point, hurting you is going to end up hurting me, but I'll be, it's going to be too late for me to realize. Yeah. Facts. You get me? Yeah, I get, I get so that's the danger that I feel like we're leading towards if we're not careful. Yeah. Alright. Well, look, guys. Let us know what y'all think. You know, um, I feel like you talked a lot more about, like, you know, the whole, the, the, the bigger picture and, and your sense. Um, let us know what y'all think. You know, the girls kind of butt in a little bit because, you know, we don't have too much of female uh, perspective. <laughs> yeah, no, I except, except for this, this young bum over here. But, you know, for the most part, though, 
You know what it is. Comment down below. Let us know what y'all think. Your thoughts uh, on some of these topics, man. Again, once again, y'all, thank y'all for supporting. Thank you guys for the love. Thank you guys for the energy. Until we see y'all again.